Hello. This is the review of the new Apple iPad. I just wanted to show you some features on it. Show you around the corners and show you some of the external features. So when we turn it on, you could your lock screen could be unlocked sideways. Could be unlocked like this. Sorry. And then you could show a little slideshow pictures while you're then you just slide to unlock. You could set a code, but luckily mine wasn't on. Nice. If you've noticed, I changed my background. If if you were going to get it, it wouldn't look like this. It would go. It would look like this. The wallpaper. It would look like this. There it is. This is the picture you'd be getting. And then when you get it. So it would look like this when you get it. Then when you lock it, unlock it, it'll look like this. So yeah, while you're saying you you have a back screen too that is behind the app, and down here instead of having four apps, you could have six apps on your dock. But it's still four. I think yeah, it's by five now because it has a much bigger screen. And scroll's good. I only have this much because I got it two days ago when it came out, but I didn't go to stores. I pre-ordered it on the Apple Store. With tax in that, it's like $530. It's pretty good. Like, oh, I forgot to show you this. You could turn the home screen. And this, and it comes in a standard, well, you can't see mine because I put the Apple over it. But it's 16 gigabytes. Now, going around the edges of the iPad, there's a headphone port. There's a microphone port, which is good. It has a microphone in it. The um, snooze button and a lock button. This right here is a screen lock. I mean, a rotation lock. So, so it doesn't mess you up if you're doing something. It'll, it'll stay locked in that. But then when you switch it back, it does that. The volume. Then right here are the three speakers. The jack for plugging it into the computer or charging. And while I'm saying this, I will go right down here and show you. Right here, this is how you have to charge your iPad. It has a plug-in charger with a port and one of these. You cannot charge it in the computer, which I do not like. You have to plug it in right here. Then you have to plug right here. And then, as you can see, it charges. And also, by the battery, it chooses your percentage, exact percentage, which I like. And now, as we go on, I want to show you some of the features. There's special apps made for iPad, like this new Tap Tap Radiation. Tap Tap. And it has a store, like Tap Tap Revenge. See, I'll do it on easy. And this is different. This is ma this is a free app, too. And it's made for the iPad, so it has a big screen. Turn it sideways. Things run, you press it, just like you would before. And if you're going to download an app that doesn't come with it, the iPad, and it's only for um, the iPhone, but it would still be in the... It would still be in the store. Really cool. It will come out like this on the iPad. It will be small screen. But if you look over in the corner, it has a times two button, which makes it large. But the graphics can be a little bit unsteady. And it goes back to its... But just let, It will go back to like its iPhone form. But the games work the same. And the, key, the keyboard is different, too. But there's no difference. Now, now we'll go into the iPod port. Beautiful girls. I have the lyrics on mine. You can put the lyrics on a little bit. And then it comes up with people. Pretty. It's really loud. I think that's a nice feature. And it's nice and complimentary. Going back to here, it has a different screen. When 
you go back, when you turn it sideways, it doesn't have that thing as I had on the iPod where it shows all the albums and you could scroll through the albums. It's not like that anymore, but it's pretty good with, with speaker-wise. Now we're going into here, like I said, it has a microphone. Go into Voice Plus. Record. Hello. Hi. The iPad has a microphone. Yes, stop it. Hello. Hi. The iPad has a microphone. You could hear it. And whatever includes a mic, whatever app, if an app includes a microphone, it works. Like IMT Pain, a famous app, it works and everything. I'm just saying, sometimes syncing apps on from your iTunes, from your iPod, if you have one before on here, it, like when you press sync, your iTunes might freeze. So if you go into the App Store and down, like, for IMT Pain, I tried to get that on there, but every time I'd press Sync Apps on my iTunes, it would, my iTunes would freeze up, because the iPad, like, has a bigger screen and all that, and I don't know why. So if you go on the App Store and re-download it, it'll tell you that you, if you have an account and all that, you have to have an account for this. Let's go into the App Store, and I have an account sign-in. So if you have that and you want to and it, your iTunes freezes up when you sync apps, if you download the app again from the iPad App Store, it will tell you that you already have downloaded it and it will let you download it again for free. So all that is good. And everything is pretty good, you know. The headphones are good and everything else is the same, but it doesn't have some of the stuff like it doesn't have calculator anymore and all that. It just has the basic ones. So a Safari, YouTube, videos, photos, if you go on the photos, it goes into bundles, you can unload those bundles, albums, or you could just go into every photo and scroll through them. Then it, before I go, I just wanted to show you something in the App Store. See, like here, see how I have Call of Duty Zombies in there, if you can see it might be kind of hard to see it. Well, I have it in there. I search it. Then it, see it has iPad apps and iPhone apps. See, iPhone apps, Call of Duty, World of War Zombies, it's $9.99. iPad apps. See, it's for the iPad apps, remember I showed you that for the iPhone apps, how it, um, you have to two times it? Well, for iPad apps, it's kind of like HD, so it's not so small. You know, any app that you could download on the iPhone and iPod Touch App Store, you you could download here. And they have some new specially made iPad apps. And it's good. And, wait, 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 one more thing before I go. The biggest feature that a lot of people are getting this for is, it's like having a Kindle. But I think if you, if if you want to get a Kindle, you should get this because it's, if you like, if you... If you want an iPod Touch and you want a Kindle, you should get this because it's two in one. Now I've got some sample like Eclipse. You have to buy money. See, I have the font really big here, but you can lower the font. You can change the font, and it's just like reading a book. A lot of people. Can. And also, if you don't understand a word, like let's say you don't know what casual means, click casual. Dictionary shows you the definition. And you don't have to have Wi-Fi because there's a di dictionary built into it. Let's say you want to go on Destiny. And you want to bookmark that. It'll highlight it. And you want to. How about you want to search it? It shows you all the chapters or like all the other books that has the word Destiny in it. So I think that this book is really good. The, I mean this thing, the iBooks. They're showing you, let's say, you know, you want to get a book that might not be too common, like say, Tale of Two Cities. Oh, and look at that. They have a couple versions. Charles Dickson, Dickinson, Fiction and Literature. It's free, actually. And this one it's four ninety nine and so is this. I don't know why. I would get the free one if you were smart enough. See, so free get book and now the book has a little download thing. That was pretty fast. Thank you for watching my video on 
my information and review on the iPad.